Hey up everyone and welcome back to the North, the next episode of the Iron Oath and it's 1.0 release with the Northern Missionaries. So last time a country literally exploded on the map and we finally revealed Dragate or Dragate or whatever you want to pronounce it. These are the ruins, this is where our main enemy Torin has gone to go and flee. For the time being we're just having to wait until we can sabotage more Black Skull operations across Kalem, which are going to pop up every now and then but we're kind of just biding our time. I think, as I said last time, for the first part of this episode, I am going to go and do this legendary location and go and get Harlan's Spyglass, because I'll be interested to see what it actually can do, and hopefully on the way around, there will just be some Black Skull fights that just sort of happen, which will then lead into the overarching narrative, which will lead us to here, because we've only got five years left, so it kind of needs to start getting a bit of a move on, because we've got, I imagine, still quite a bit to do before it ends. Let's start walking over here. I'll walk to Shepfeld first, just on the off chance something Black Skull base happened. Yes, Captain, here's your bloody money. Let's get rocking. It seems ultimately very bizarre if we do end up running the timer down, which would be very, very strange. I don't see anything here which would suggest Black Skull anywhere, really. I don't think I've got anything to sell. I've got a bit to repair, but it's nothing at the end of the world. I'm just going to sell that and get rid of that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to worry about. Like I said, I'm keeping this on her for the time being, but I can just flip it around here and there. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't have to be, like, glued to her. Go on, everyone, have a point. It's on me. It's been a long, long series. Don't worry. I feel like we're getting kind of close to the end of what this would be. Is everyone uh, kind of rested up? Everyone's well rested. Okay, let's go deal with this, and let's see what today brings. Like, honestly, with five years left, which are like, what, 120 days per year, I think? So there's not that many days left of the actual game before the campaign just comes to an end, automatically maybe? You approach them out of the cave, an airy fog blanketing the entrance. As you get closer, you notice a faded signpost, a warning to turn back. It reads, death awaits all ye who enter. Hmm, ominous. I see more effective ways of discouraging trespassers. <laughs> Holland's been dead for centuries. I'm certainly not worried about what he'll do to us, unless he's a ghost. He's probably a ghost. Right, let's get everyone set up. I'll just take a nice. Oh God, I'll just take like the OAP club, apparently. I say OAP club, come on now, they're not that old. Like, you're going to make me feel bad for hitting my fort, well, in eight years, but still. Okay, I basically brought in all the well-rested people. Man, I wonder if I can dye all our colored hair. So if I go into, like, the character customization, I wonder if I can change their hair back to, like, a regular color. You know, just how you dye your hair, the older you get, maybe. I think I'll just let my hair gray out, to be honest, it already has started. You enter the pirate hideout, dozens of ancient cobweb-covered crates stacked high against the cavern walls. Majak goes to have a look at one nearby. Empty. Probably was cleared out centuries ago. This place wasn't exactly well hidden. If you knew where to look, Mad Jack runs a hand along one of the crates and rubs a bit of dust from between his fingers. His pronouns are his. Doesn't look like a soul has been here since, however. I really wish they'd fix that. You sure about that? Albert walks forward, bending down and studying the ground. This looks like recent activity to me. Other groups after Harlan's treasure, perhaps? Let's hope so, come on. Well, let's hope that's all, come on. Okay, well, it looks like a group might have beaten us to the punch here. I mean, obviously, the thing is there. Three fights, so that's going to be one of them, so there's two more fights kicking around. As always, this is probably one. Man, you dungeons, you're just so readable, aren't you? Man, someone's, uh... Great. Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad? Hmm. I hope you're okay. Okay, right, well, let's get back there. I could probably fire through all of those guys, I would surmise. Let's get the rest here. Ooh, like a triangle formation. I like it. I like it a lot. Now... Oh, and I like that a lot. Go. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Now, are you stunnable? Yes, you are. Let's go. Stars means to go on. Like I said, we'll camp before the actual main event anyway, so I'm not really too worried. You have skewer, don't you? I guess you can skewer it back a bit. Back, you fiend. Oh, he does a little hoppity hop. That's kind of cute. Okay, right. Anyway, enough of that. Can I fire this down Main Street and hit them? Not quite. I might as well just hit them normally then. I might as well not waste an ability just yet. And that way, Santana's nice and blocked in. Can you just... Go for it. Nice one. Right. Now, you guys are probably going to wait because you can't attack and move in the same... No, you can't. No, no, you can't. And you guys aren't the type to do the old Dead Zone Surge. That's a few different members of the team. Of your team, anyway. Getting five reinforcements, though. That's quite a bit. And some of us are a little bit scared. If we can get rid of these guys before the 
reinforcements come in, we might be all right, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, that's one done. Might as well. Go on, then. Go on, then. Man, Santana. Oh, he, of course he's not dead. Well, he will, he will be now. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, can I go here and will you die instantly? Don't mind if you do. You're stunned anyway. Nobody cares. You cheesed it. <laughs> I guess that's valid. Oh, no blocking from Rainer, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. You're a little bit... Well, I could probably actually just do rapid fire. That'd probably be all right. You're not going to go down. You're not going to go down. You're not going to go down either. Hmm. Not a big fan. If I stand like, oh, I don't know, here maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Once again, Shim Kring doesn't just straight up kill them, but hey, it is what it is. You're all stunned anyway. Nobody cares. Can I punch you into a wall? Man, I wish you got stunned. Okay, fine. Just finish that one off. We're going to get no more reinforcements. No more from there, Ilk. You're going to do your teleportation. I feel like Hildegard might be immune to fear or terrorize or whatever. Oh, that might mean someone else. I'd have to double check. Oh, no. Oh, that was big. Mainly because they do a lot of damage. And you hate to be on your wrong side of them. See you later. What are you going to do? Oh, man. Hildegard. Hildegard! Girl! Alright, I'm into it. I'm definitely into it. Okay, shoot up Main Street. Good job. Now, how many of you done that? You've already used two, so let's maybe not go full hand. We've still got another fight ahead of us. Go get too cocky about it. I can skewer. I mean, saying that, I'm, I'm wasting all the skewers as well, to be fair, so maybe I shouldn't get... Hmm, maybe I should take some of my own advice. Can I go down there? Okay, now Holy Barrage and both. Yeah, I'll take it. It's all right. Okay, she might be a little bit scared. You're not getting a... I was going to say, you're not getting a flank. Oh. Um, thanks. I, I appreciate it. That was weird. I'm, I'm not complaining. Just weird. Oh, Stone Cold Whiff. That's a weird thing to call it. Okay, so we got a weird, like, we're kind of surrounded in a very bizarre sense. Right, let's go there. Can you blind it? Or is it immune? It's not immune. This is a weird first fight. On the plus side, Hildegard's basically tanked the entire thing, which is great. There we go. Oh, there we go. Almost. Do you really need healing? Who needs healing? You're missing like 200. You ought to be fair. Heal yourself. I think we're going to have just enough time. And then honestly, just, yeah, do that and then do that. Like it never happened. Okay, fine. So it did happen a bit. Jeez. There we go. Okay, nice one. I'll take it. Anybody want to level up? I mean, Santana's close. My Jack's close. These guys kind of in the middle of the road. I'll take that, though. I can just sell it. Okay, not a terrible start. And to be fair, on the way... I guess I can't scout that one. On the way to the actual thing, we're pretty clear. What's this? Ha! <laughs> nice try, game. Don't worry, the game will get me at some point. Now, nah, search the crates. Why not? I mean, this will do. I mean, I can go here and I can figure out where the other enemy is, I would imagine. I mean, I probably could have guessed that. I probably could have guessed that. Ooh. Hello. An agent's wishing marks the wall ahead, though it's meaning to lose everyone in your party. Can't make heads or tails of this, our monk. Anyone feeling brave? Let's see. Who is of a magical sort? I mean, everyone's really of a magical sort. Uh, I'd say Albert. Albert is magical. Albert. Albert steps up and places their hand on the runes. His soft glow momentarily intensifies the hum before fading entirely. His gear has been fully repaired. Meh. <laughs> it, it's going to be a big meh from me. Let me go this way just to make sure it's not a trap, because it could be. The units can no longer evade or perform attacks of opportunity. That's not ideal. We can still guard, though. You didn't think I'd... 
see you pulling that shit, hmm? I don't even want to risk... Honestly, I don't even want to risk 58%. I'm going to go back for long way. Screw it. This dungeon ain't getting me. That's Elvi. Right, second fight. Let's go. And then we've even got a place to camp. This place is built to just get... To walk through. I won't say that out too loud, though, because it could go very wrong very quickly, as it sometimes does. No ambushing for us. They do get four reinforcements. They are sort of all over the place. I could probably focus fire on these guys over yonder first and foremost, I guess. That'd be right. Yeah, that'd be right. Let's just go there. Shame I don't have the right angle for it, but I should be able to kill... Alright. Never mind. Counterpoint. Shut up. There we go. They want to hear it. As that one band used to sing. Let's go here. Let's... Okay, let's go here. Let's pull and give a shield to you. Why not? And then you can shield other people up in our future. Right, you're going to go down next turn. You're so far away. The rest of you are miles away. And you're getting less reinforcement than last time, so I'm not that worried about it. Conversely... That. <laughs> Conversely, that. Yeah, absolutely miles away. If they reinforce us coming on this side, that could be slightly problematic, but yeah, we'll probably deal with it. Okay, well, if you want to stand, like, here, how far, how close can you get, Skeleton Boy? Close-ish. So have wash time. Keep at it. So, yeah. Now, can you go and skewer into that wall? Uh, no. Knockback is not allowed in this town. That took a second to figure out what was going on. That'll bounce off the armor, at least. Nice shot. Good shooting tax. Okay, so really, we want to get a shield up here and a shield up here. I'll take it. Not bad. The amount of reinforcements coming in would, would make a great time for Arc Lightning once again, as it always does. Oh, man. I miss Arc Lightning. Not, not that we don't have it anymore. We, we do have it with our new friend. Um, I miss our super-duper OP Arc Lightning, is why should technically be saying, I guess. We stay overwatching. Always stay overwatching. Right, come up here. Get Stone Arcade. Good stuff. Now, I can't skewer. Unfortunately, I can't take flight through these guys, which is a damn shame. I can't start working on them, at least. Uh, this one's probably going to move. Yeah, he is going to get in range. Problematic, right? Hang on now. Could deal with him next turn. You're not doing anything. You guys are just going to get obliterated. Well, one of you is. Uh, that means the other ones might get kind of close. Saying that, I think Albert has something else to say with that, don't you, buddy? Hmm. I'd say put him on ice, but I think they're too far away. He technically. It show, it's showing that you can hit there. Like, that is showing as one, so why can't I hit him with other abilities? That's kind of weird. I don't know if I agree with that. Well, alright. On the plus side, he's stuck in a hole, so... He can't, he can't do much anyway. Okay. Keep up with the... Honestly, keep up with the Overwatch. Honest, Overwatch has really turned around and been like an absolutely great ability. I mean, it is a pretty good ability anyway, but... I really wish to... Okay. I brought in... I technically brought in the wrong Valkyrie for this sort of thing, but it's fine. Oh, damn. See ya. No messing around here, let me tell you. Right. You're, you're not, you both aren't going anywhere. And if you come any closer, you're going to get sniped. Oh, for a rock, apparently. I'm okay with it. Ah, I thought you were going to come back next time. That sucks. Right, please stay down. I know you won't, but please stay down. Actually, counterpoint. Okay. Other, other counterpoint. Get a little bit closer. Third counterpoint. Thank you. Bloody hell. The Rangers. <laughs> That's going to take a bit of doing. Uh, go and help out. 
If you can. Okay, you're a little bit too far. And I can't flank it, technically. Alright. Just getting on it. That's fine, I guess. I can live with that. Can I make one explode? Eh. I choose to wait. And let you suffer in silence. Oh, he's back. But he fell... You fell over. All right, fair enough. In that case, blammo. That was weird. <laughs> let's just let's not talk about what just happened there. That was very bizarre. Well, we're gonna reset stuff next fight anyway. So I'm not really that fussed about using abilities now. We should be kind of all right. Yep, that's done with. All they might. Nope. Good block. Shoot to win. Nice work. You're going to get out, but you've not got much health left. Oof. Oh, wait. Man Jack's going to retort. Get on the floor. How's your health? Eh. Seen worse. Right then, it's just dealing with this asshole, but he's got so much health. I think it's, it's, it's defense more than anything. He's got like 40% defense, which is... Uh, it's a big one. It's a biggie. But, you know, we also outnumber him quite massively now, so... On the floor, on the ground. Take away his weaponry and sing him to death. Can't be the worst way to go, surely. Ceremonial Staff Pristine. Santana will hit level 20. That's what I'm talking about. Right, Santana, where are you? Where are you? Right. Help up, please. I want as many people to live as possible. I know we're all getting to... It's technically middle age, okay? We are getting to that point in life, but... Uh, I do want people to stay around as long as possible. As for an upgrade point, I think we're already fully... Mm, yeah, it's more of a serenade one. So what's Brainwash? Removes all buffs on the target, grants some power. Effect is double defense, stun, stun, or cheat. Feared when charm is applied. Allies affected by upbeat, gain conditional immunity for one round. Okay, good, fine. I'll brainwash them. Let's see how that goes. Right, let's get camping, and then let's see what this spyglass looks like. And then I might finish off the rest of the dungeon. Sound, that was very straightforward. I got to use so many incense points that I can actually just scout a bit more now. Oh, I have the key. Wait. Oh, I also, also, counterpoint, I have the key. There you go. Don't mind if I do. What is it? Scroll powering 5 and scroll lethality 4. Critical chance plus 5%. I mean, that's massive, especially on a character like Mad Jack. That would be cray cray. Go on, what is it? Ugh. You know what? Fine. We've had worse. And it was worth coming down here. What is it? I can't stand swamps. If I never have to go trudging through another godforsaken swamp again for the rest of my life, then I'll die a happy man. The captain has lost his mind for some reason. He insists on being bats already. By having his march multiple times a week through his infested insect pits. No amount of pleading with a man can reach him. In the last month, we've had multiple men get infected with muck foot. I assume that's like trench foot. One of them had to have their right foot amputated. Yeah, it's like trench foot. I swear to Tien, the timing of his writing could not be more out. So Captain has just barged in, demanded we get ready for the marshes with a shitty eating grin on his face. He told us, you know the saying, Westmire swampy boys are prepared for anything. But nobody says that. He made it up. One of these days, I suspect the Captain's going to meet his unfortunate accident in these marshes. In these marshes. Does that mean he's going to kill him? Also, I just got an achievement on Steam. So I assume I might have just found, like, the last one, maybe? I am just going to quickly check. Yep. Obtain all journal entries from every region. So that was actually the, the last one. I was kind of hoping to be one, like, Drawgate. But I guess that's fine. We managed to get all the journal ones as well. I wasn't ex I wasn't planning on completely completing this game. But, hey, we're here now. So let's just deal with it. This is going to lead me to literally nothing. Yes. What can I do with any of the stuff we've got to make anyone feel better? I mean, everyone's got 55 out of 55. This is fine as it is. Let's go. Torchlight reveals dozens of skeletal, skeletal, skeletal remains up ahead. Caved in skulls, cracked bones, and ancient garments. There are now little more than loose fibers of cloth. Raina scoops up a leather-bound journal, half hidden beneath a femur, and flips to the end of it. You lean in behind her to read the words. I fear that even though we dumped that cursed loot at sea, the damage is already done. Got sick for spring 87. Damn, okay. Since our return, a sick madness has begun to take hold of our crew, affecting the captain most of all. He's already killed two of us. Claim they were stealing from him, but I'm not sure if I buy that. The rest of the crew ain't faring much better, myself included. I've been seeing things, hearing things. God knows if it's real or not. I can't tell anymore. All I know is we never should have gone to that damn place, and now our greed will be the death of us all. I assume this is the undead crew. It's like Scooby-Doo Zombie Island. 
That's a niche reference. God, he must have gone mad and butchered his whole crew. We best find this spyglass soon. The air suddenly grows cold, and the scattered bones around you begin to rattle, attempting to reconstruct themselves once more. A scraping can be heard from a nearby corridor, like metal on rock, and a gravelly, inhuman voice booms after it. I told you to stay away from my treasure. Well, it seems its owner just found us. Prepare for battle as always, people. What does he look like? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's got seven reinforcements. Oh, that's Captain Arland, is he? He just looks like every other jabroni. Vulnerable to crushing. Well, I can show you the crushing weight of being disappointed in life, but that's about it. Sorry to say. Uh, let's see, man. I guess I could skewer and hit these two, and then I can sort of handle that, I guess? I, I think this is manageable. Right. It's a start, is what I'm saying. Right, go slap. Absolutely slap. On the floor. Right, now if you can go and skewer these two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was great. And then clutch. Hallelujah. Right, clear out, you're dead. That's not how the saying goes to Monty Python. It's kind of close. So now I can just hit those two, they'll be gone. I can hit that one, that'll be gone. I'll put the Overwatch on the severe cat come round corner when we least when we least expect it. Christ almighty. Okay. That's slightly more problematic. <laughs> okay, um pull back a little bit and then put the Overwatch on. I see we have a bit of an incident going on here. You don't need to crit the Okay, fine. If it makes you feel better, you can crit it. Are you actually stuck? That's a bug. Surely that is I can't move away because they're technically spawning here, so they're so the game is already counting that the enemies are here. I don't really agree with that. Just saying. That shouldn't be a thing? Okay. I get they probably like worked out most of the bugs, but that's a bit ridiculous with what it's done. Especially, what the hell, man? Like, bro, come on now. Alright, well, better get a move on, I guess. Because now I feel like I've been... <laughs> I've been boned by the game. Get it? Because... Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Let me grab her. There we go. Problem solved, kind of. Do that, please. Oh, hello, you're getting quite close. Alright, Holland ain't messing. He wants his treasure back, especially that spyglass. I just want to know what it does, man. I just want to know what it does. Right. Lock them down for a spell. You ain't going anywhere. Right, stand here. And just overwatch. We'll see what goes on here. Uh, are you stunnable? Oh, you're not. That's weird. A thirst? In a while. That's fine. She can still hit out of it, bro. Just saying. Right, see you never. Still getting friends. You're back to full. So much so you just decided to crit yourself. Oh, you crit yourself if you don't crit anyone else, dear. <laughs> How very rude of you. But right, you're gonna get back up soon. There's got to be so many things in the way. He's still shooting, like, through a rock, basically. All right, come here. Bop it. Okay. It is a spectral matriarch, I guess, so it is going to be a bit more damaging. You get, like, here, maybe? Good lord. It is taking some damage to take that out. Well, might as well not waste it. Waste not, want not. That one's gone, at least. Ah! Immune, is it? Santana says no. Oh, that's a little bit. Ah, you cheeky little bastard. How dare you do that? And that's what you get. That's what Albert will do to you. Ow. Who are you shooting at? Oh, no one. Alright. That's fine. Bop him that way, and then we can surround him. 
You go slap this one into existence. Or out of existence, should I say. And then if you can shoot... Take that one out. Ugh! At least you got most of it in the hole. What a disgusting game of basketball that was. Oh, can you not actually... Hmm. You can kind of get around. And the rest of you guys just deal with it. Are you, uh... You, ah, you do. Ha <laughs> ha. Hang on. Can you get in a better position to do it to both of them? Or is he just very much stuck behind a rock? He's very much stuck behind a rock. Alright, cool off. Or chill out. Well, the technical term would have been chill out dickwad, but... It's a classic, but, you know, it's been used. Go, 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 go. Go around. Right, y'all just gonna... Hopefully, get destroyed by the next Ice Age. You're out. You're gonna be a problem, child. Hopefully, less of one now. Man. Even flanking you is not really doing the damage I'd like to see, you know? Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Right, can you get healing... Hmm, who am I going to heal? Who's the most injured? I mean, you are injured, but you you are f technically okay. Unlike this guy. Okay. You're going to just sit there. That's fine. Go down. And then get slapped. Great. Just got Holland to deal with now. Make him blow up. Man, almost 400 damage. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I don't think... Oh, actually, I take that back. Take flight. Go nuts, Elder God. And now, we can lock this one down and fire. That's fine. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be some, like, big show of force, but that's... You haven't really done anything, Mr. Holland, so you mustn't really want the spyglass back that much. No, I am a little bit stuck. That was just such a pathetic light. Ugh. Okay, let's surround this guy. Let's just deal with it already. Hi. Ooh. Ow. Uh, that's not on. I'm still not dead. Hilda God, see off, please. Thank you very much. I'm curious to see what this Holland Spyglass after actually does. Would it be something for, like, scouting? Does it mean that we we can't get ambushed anymore? Something like that. Hildegard is 27 XP. Albert is 28 XP. Rain is 190 XP. The sheer goal of it. What's that? Aim full plate of pain. Basic attacks do 50% damage but restore health. Armor defense plus 4. So I guess it's more like a tank one because they don't do damage, but they can just live forever, basically. Yeah, I can see the, I can see the pros and the cons. I can see the pros and the cons. Captain Allen, or whatever remained of him, is no more. You glance around, your eyes fixating on an ornate chest at the far end of the chamber. Santana is already moving there with purpose, and soon flips open a lid to pull out the contents. It still works, boss. Let's have a look at this thing. So, the user deals full damage with partial line of sight. Okay. A Siemens pocket telescope reputed... Reputed? Ugh, I can't say reputed. 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 To have belonged to the infamous freebooter, Harland. Though to the eye appears to be simple brass, when you hold it in your hands, you're able to see farther and more clearly. Okay, so that would be good for, like, Albert, or technically Mad Jack, or anyone with a ranged attack. Okay, that's not bad, it's just not quite the thing that I thought you'd be able to do. I could basically do what Torin was doing is in that in that um, fight when he was, like, shooting arrows around corners, but I don't think he had Harlan's Spyglass, I think he just had a bullshit moveset. At least his Spyglass is intact, even if his insanity was not... Hopefully whatever curse ailed him is now lifted, and he and his crew can now rest. Eh. Sure. Either way, we've got what we came for. Indeed, but let's have a quick gander around. I don't think we're quite done just yet. Saying that, I don't really want to go to the trap. And I don't... Ah, screw it. Let's go. We're leaving. Tis a silly place. Great. Alba getting 10 kills. Rainy getting 8 kills. Hildegard... God, Mad Jack getting 9. Santana getting 6. You're just a musician, man. Okay. He comes from far away, what can he play? He can play the loot all the time. Right, let's go. Is that the last legendary item? I assume it's not, because I'm going to assume there is a achievement 
for getting all the legendary items. I'm just going to quickly check to make sure I don't have that achievement. I don't think I do. I don't have an achievement for it, and I just had a quick gander on the internet, but there's no list anywhere that I can find in the Wikipedia for the Iron Oath is extremely sparse. So I guess I'm just going to go with the fact that I probably don't have them all yet. So I guess let's go back to Shepfeld, and then let's sort of work our way around in the hopes that some Black Store stuff just happens, because we're kind of just waiting more than anything right now. We're just waiting for it to happen. For the last time, I'm not selling the legendary gear for a hundred coin. That's ridiculous. Stop trying to make me do that. I can't be far from... How many more have I got? Well, I'd say seven levels. So it's more to do with all the alchemy stuff now. And I suppose I've got one, what, two, four expeditions. But, eh. There's nothing really going on here. I mean, there is some contracts, but there's nothing to do with, like, the um, Black Skull. And I'm not really in the business to do anything else, really. I just need to, like beeline this. Where's it going? Grayswood. Well, I guess I'm going to Grayswood anyway, so fine. I'll do it. Just to kill some time. Just gotta find them, wherever they are. To say that it takes like two weeks to get to a different town, six years, five or six years even, is going to take no time at all to pass, and that's what's really concerning me more than anything. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. See you later. It does say we can find them in dungeons as well, but I'm not really seeing it. The answer is also yes, you can actually re-dye their hair back to their original colour, so it doesn't look like they're over the age of 40. Uh, so I guess Rain has dyed her hair. I, I don't know if everyone else just wants to stay in that. I mean, I don't think you... Oh no, you are 40, you just had white hair to begin with. Captain's looking pretty old. Man, 32, 36, 33. I mean, Lothric Lof is coming quite old as well. Like, I, I think our youngest person is 32. Uh, everyone is going to be getting up to retirement age by the time we get to the end of this contract area. I mean, at this rate, where are the Black Skull going to show up next? Am I going to have to go and creep slowly over here? I would go over here, but it does say Contract Zero, so I don't know if there's actually any point going over to Dragate, even though I did kind of want to go over there, but is it a waste of time to do so? Aha! Up ahead, one of your outriders returns to the caravan with some haste. Our monk, our scouts report a group of Black Skulls up ahead. We could try and go out, around. Just slow us down. What are your orders? I say we'll take them head on, boss. Yeah, make ready to attack. Four Skulls. Not a problem in our town, as far as I'm aware. It might still be a problem. It's only fair to use the people we didn't use in the old donjon, so that's alright. There is a few of them. Oh, man, right. Biggest pet peeve to deal with first. I just want to get rid of the bomber men. I could maybe... Maybe arc lightning those fools. Uh, oh, I don't know. Right. Angaboo, 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 Angaboo. Can you get there and start the slapping? Can confirm he can start the slapping. Yes, he can. That's what it's called, by the way. <laughs> that's that's now his ability's name. And you will li live to love it. You'll love to live it. You'll learn to love it. There we go. Man, I cannot speak today. Jesus Christ. You hit them both. Apparently not with that ability. Apparently with other abilities, yes. The range on nice. Terrible. That, on the other hand, I'm definitely vibing with. Like you can't do any crazy dead zone. Don't throw a bomb. You're such an asshole. I hope you know it. I really do. There we go. Don't do Kaylin like this. Yeah, she's throw she's kind of stuck now. That ain't cool, bro. That just ain't funny. All right, now goes another one at least. Oh, she's got her turn now at least, so that's that's good. So she wasn't really stunned for that long. God, how stacked is that bloodhound gang? Heh. <laughs> anyway. All right, lock down the skull marksman. I mean, it's probably going to crit whilst in melee anyway. Weirdly, it always does. New guy Lothric's got a bit of a problem on his hands. He could just... I mean, Arc Lightning would actually technically hurt himself, so let's maybe not do that. Just, you know what? It is a bit weird that you have to do it to them as well. Too far away? Too far away. Up you go. Quick, quick, quick. As quick as you physically can. Now, can I use this ability for my benefit this time and just like... Are you freezable? Are you freezable? I feel like you should be. Put him on ice. Fine. Mm, not a fan. 
What did I say? What did I say? I said, I bet you'll crit in melee even though you're a ranged character. And what do you do? You crit in melee even though you're a ranged character. The absolute cheek of this game sometimes. Alright, see you later then. You absolute burk. Why are these dogs so stack stacked? Like, why? Good lord. Well, he's on 10 health, so that's going well. I'm really getting tired of the level 4 contracts, which are which kick my ass compared to the level 5 contracts. It's a bit silly. I just don't get it. I really do it. Bloody hell, right? Okay, well. This is happening now, I guess. How's it going, buddy? Just do the switcheroo. Heal yourself. It's so strange that we can handle level 5 contracts just like any old business, but... Give me a level 4 contract and I just fail it miserably. It's so strange. Oh, you! It's not like our guys are bad by any means, either. Kill that one, please. Oh, you won't. He'll just freeze. You know what? Fine. I'm okay with that. Who can I heal? Get healed, you silly billy. Great evade. Great evade? Okay, that's a bit better. You're disabled. You're stuck. How are you doing on the old health? You're 36 health. I'm a little bit worried about using you anywhere, to be honest, at this point. Just wait. That was decent. Can I stand here and do it to both of them? Don't mind if I do. Ah. Okay, now the Steins hit us again. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't agree to that. 50% is not what I'm here for. That's better. You're going to get out, aren't you? Hiya. Ah, oh, Jesus. Christus. Why is it not dead? Uh, game, catch up to yourself, please. There we go. Can you kill this one, please? And then you're out of harm's way. Yes. You get, you, you get some revenge on that as well. Rub some revenge on that, bad boy. Alright, see you later. I mean, you stood in water. What did you want? It conducts very well, let me tell you. Okay, heal yourself. She might have to take a few more thwacks to get through that. <laughs> this is such a silly thing. Okay. Turned it around once again, but it it's just so weird that it's so easy to do level 5 contracts these days. But this, the moment we get a level 4 contract, it's, it just destroys us. Surely it should be the other way around, right? Right? Have they made it weird so that the level 4 contracts are worse than the level 5 ones? Surely that can't be a thing, right? Uh, wait. Nah, nah. See you later, bro. Tell your friends. Seriously, tell your friends so that we can kill them as well. Hopefully. Bloody hell. Alright. Well, this is saying goodbye. At least we got some level ups out of it, and some stuff we can just sell. With the battle won, your troops light a boisterous cheer and fan out to collect what they can from the bodies. At least we took no temporary injuries either. No much in the way of loot, but Torium will no doubt feel the loss. One of these men was a high-ranking captain, it seems. Every little bit counts, but we can't let up. Good job. Let's get back to Shepfeld. Let's get a bit recovered, and let's see if we get any more chances. Or if we get, you know, some news from Vaughn to say it's time to attack them. Because it's any time now, really. Oh! Funnily enough, we've received a, Varn a letter from Varn, our monk. There isn't much to it, only that he wants us to meet him in Corrin Hall. Indeed. It must be very important if he wants a face-to-face -face meeting. Perhaps the moment has finally arrived. Let's not waste time. 
All right, well, here's your quality furs, good sir. You've caught us just before we're about to leave to go on an insane adventure. Let me quickly go to the company upgrades. Let me just go to merchant availability. What was that done? I didn't even read that. I was just like, I'm just filling the gaps now more than anything. Uh, South Steam, welcome to level 9. Let me grab that and let me grab some... I said level 9 then. Level 19 is what I meant to say. That should be fine. I don't know if you've got many left. Oh, no, there's Barrage. There's Barrage. Let me go Potency. That'll do, Arkid. I'm not Octavia, let's put your Potency up to 209. Let's get your health up because health does seem to be a bit of a worry. I mean, I don't really even care about that ability, honestly. Cold Feet is... Eh, it's okay. It's all right. Fine. I can live with that. It, it stops them from moving so much at the end of the day. And you will survive. You don't even have a job, job assigned to you. Here you go, man. Be a picklock. Done. That'll pick up from someone else who wasn't... Or was one beforehand. Right. Let me quickly go to the infirmary, but I don't think I need to put anyone in. Good. Let me quickly go to the marketplace and repair everything. I'm just going to sell that. Let me put the scrap onto this a little bit more. Uh, I'll sell the salt, because we are not salty people after all. We're already get 790. I'm okay. I can live without it. Uh, right then. So, do I need to rest or are we okay? We're fine. In that case, let's get a wriggle on to uh, Coron Hall, which is... How many days is it going to take? 57 days. I think I'm going to do it town by town, just in case we get caught off guard. Well, on the way there, of course, the dragon does come back and make sure... It's making sure to remind us that it still exists. I can only imagine that when we get to this Corrin Hall place and this place of Dragate, there is something there that might stop the Scourge, like, permanently. Maybe that's a thing. That's, like, the end goal, perhaps. Somehow, Torin has become part of the Scourge. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Well, Terum, sorry to say, but you look kind of screwed. Uh, we don't really have time to come and help you. Sorry. On to Raynalheim. If you could stick around for maybe, like, two years, I might be back, but uh, we're off on a big adventure. This is about where Terum just gets ripped a new one. All right, Cornhall, welcome to the world of Dragate. I always assumed that this continent county area was going to be, like, separate to the main game. I just thought it was going to be, like, the end, like late game stuff, which you do, like, after you finish the main, like, campaign. But here we are, I guess. As you near the broken gap in the world of Dragate, a group of Vanguard soldiers stationed there approach you. Ah, have all the missionaries heading to Dragate, are you? We are. What can we expect? Well, what have you heard? He smiles. Rumors are rampant, but we do know a little from speaking with survivors. The High Priest of Dragate, as he likes to be called, has been forcing people to mine into the earth after the discovery of a massive formation of aether crystals. As you can see, he gestures to the ravaged land beyond the wall. That did not turn out well for them. He and his cult followers seem to be dead by all accounts. Was that the explosion? I assume that was the explosion, right? How much of the region was affected? By the blast? He scoffs. Damn near all of it. Half of it was completely obliterated and overtaken by the sea. So the Aether Crystals all exploded and almost destroyed the entire country. Great. The rest was scarred by debris that rained down from the skies. Fireballs and molten rocks sent flying from the explosion. It unfortunately claimed the lives of many. Now only one small village remains. Jesus. So this place was bigger then. That is terrible. These ancient ruins are an interesting discovery, though. It's a shame they weren't known to us beforehand. Now all the remnants of this lost civilization are scattered and fragmented throughout the land. Some say it is of the gods. I'm not sure if I believe that. But some of our own people, the scholars from the Circle, are on their way to investigate and see what can be learned from the ruins. There is a small growing hope that they, that they hold a clue to the dragon's origin, and possibly how to stop it. Am I going to have to fight the dragon at one point? Very interesting indeed. That sounds promising. Thanks for the information. Of course, good luck in there. Sounds like you're about to send me send me in, coach. Let's see what happens. Let's get to Corrin Hall. Got four days just from the actual entrance. Jeez. Hey, it looks like a normal town as any. Forest visit every city. I'm getting all the all the achievements today. You arrive in the city of Corrin Hall. Half the building seemingly left vacant or destroyed as a result of recent events. As you just scan around, your presence seems to be on Elko and unwelcomed, judging by the looks of the villagers' faces. A gold reception. One of the more friendly looking villagers walks up to you with a faint smile on their face. Don't mind them. They're just tired of all the passerbys lately. We're only really interested in the rumored treasure in the ruins north of here. We're still coming to terms with our recent loss, trying to put back the pieces of our lives. As far as we know, our city holds the only survivors if you exclude the dragon quarters, that is. Thanks for the info, but we won't keep you then. Alright, Vaughn, where are you? You enter a rundown building, Corrin Hall, where Vaughn instructed you to meet him, far away from prying eyes. From the looks of things, it was likely someone's own before the explosion. Rain down fire from the sky. Charming bliss. I don't like it, boss. We're sure that letter was from Vaughn. It is a good spot for an ambush. Moments later, Vaughn enters the room, shutting the door behind him and pulling down the hood of his tunic. The sight of him causes anyone in the room to exhale with relief. Alaric strides over to greet him with a firm handshake. 
while the secrecy barn, we were just wondering if this was a trap. Raise Vaughn raises his palms and flashes an apologetic smile. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just couldn't risk being spotted in public with you. Why, well, I have to say it's far too important to divulge in a letter. Everyone leans in, eagerly awaiting the news. After a recent string of successes, Torrens informed me that the Black Skulls have been contracted for a large mission far from Dragate. The bulk of their forces will soon be departing, but as far as I can gather, Torrin is staring behind. So this is our chance, then. He acknowledges you with a nod. It is. I'm not sure what's going on with him. If I'm honest, he seems paranoid as all hell. I reckon that's the reason he's staying put. Wherever the case, the fort will be mostly empty aside from him in a few... Now this sounds like a trap. He pauses, eyeing everyone in the room. We won't get a better chance than this. We have you to thank, Vaughn. This whole plan was your... I swear to God, if Vaughn actually turns, if he's a turncoat, and he's like, no, no, this is the trap. I've been on Torin's side the entire time. I'm going to lose my shit. The pie is nothing without the proper execution, boss. All of us here are equally responsible for getting this far. He smiles and takes a step back towards the door, pulling up the hood in his tunic. I best depart before Torin grows suspicious of my absence. He produces a sealed envelope and hands it to you. Everything you need to know is in here. I've marked a set of tunnels which you can use to gain access to the fort without being noticed. They are not without their own dangers, however. And what of Gedrick and all this? He remains in the fort, but is confined to a cell at night. I'll stay close to him until you arrive. And then together we'll confront Torin. Surely Gedrick's like 25 years old now, right? <laughs> a sound plan as always. See you soon, friend. Okay, so we've got infiltrating a Black Skulls fort in Dragate. Vengeance at hand. Is this is this finally it? Is this what we've been looking for? Death during this mission will result in game over. With much of the Black Skull busy with an important mission, Barn tells us we would never have a better chance to kill Torin and rescue Gedrick. We're to use a series of tunnels to gain access to the low levels of their base. I think this might be it, you know. Let me just have a... Yes, yes, I know the dragons attack Torin. Boo-hoo. Let me leave to see. So where am I going? Uh, yeah. It'll take 19 days. This... This... Now, I said that this might be on the last sand... But I think this might be really it for Vengeance at Hand, but Christ knows at this point, honestly. But I guess we'll find out next time, because I'm going to leave that on a bit of a cliffhanger. I know we didn't get too much done. Well, I say we didn't get too much done. We got what I assume is the last legendary item in the game, I think. We're now in Dragate, and we are now going to go and in hopefully enact a final vengeance on Torin. And hopefully Varn isn't an absolute dirty turncoat who stabs us in the back at the very end. That would really, really really suck but i guess we'll find out next time as always enjoyed yourself so feel free to check out the rest of the channel show us more whatever you will enjoy feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know next time going out with the missionaries in the iron oath as well as other series on the channel if you can't wait till then feel free to join the northern discord and get involved in the conversation ciao for now guys and girls until next time for possibly the end who knows